Right, and it, it's been uh, very good, uh, um, but uh, particularly, I wouldn't refer to the partners, but uh, pr probably to the coordination of the project. The, the role of the uh, Fondazione Basso has been excellent, coordinating and, and, and managing the sharing of information and the, and the coordination of the activities. So I think, all in all, it, it's, the, 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 our, our assessment is, is very, very positive. I would say there are about perhaps uh, two or three. One of them is that um, uh, thanks to the, to, the, to the project, we've been able to sensitize um, uh, public administration, particularly local administration and regional administration, on the implementation of the GDPR. That's, that's something which is important. It, it, it doesn't mean that they were not aware of the existence of the GDPR, but uh, when you come with concrete proposals, so they, they, they see the, the, the specificities and the, uh, uh, and, and this, this is something which is positive. It's also very positive the, 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 uh, the, the number of participants. We've reached more than uh, uh, 1,200 participants in our seminars and more than 2,000 participants in our webinars. So this is important. And, Finally, I would say that we've, we've learned uh, quite a lot about the, the, the uh, implementation of EU projects, which is uh, really important. <laughs> Not only because we have some the, the, well, the deliverables of the, of, the, of the project will still be used in the future, the manual uh, will be used in the future, the, 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 the videos, uh, which, which are the basis of our webinars, will be used in the future. And, and also the, the know-how in implementing EU projects, which is, and, and also the, the links and the cooperation that, that uh, we've, we've uh, started with other colleagues will, will, also, will, will be something that uh, we will also rely on in the future. In, in Spain, data protection was, was not uh, something, um, I would say, was something important even under the directive. Um, uh, our DPA, the, the Spanish DPA, we, we uh, before the GDPR, we also we, we already had all the powers that the GDPR gives to to European authorities, uh, but but the GDPR has been something like um, I would say a warning signal for many, particularly for companies. So it seems that, um, uh, uh, and this is something that has put um, I would say data protection on the headlines of newspapers, media, and all that, and, and also for companies. Uh, with the new obligations and, 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 and uh, for controllers and the concept of accountability, new rights for citizens. And the main challenges probably come from, from new technologies. I mean, it's, um, um, even though the GDPR is technolo technologically in, in neutral, uh, the, the, well, the fact is that new technologies are there, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, uh, big data, and this is something that uh, we, are, we are still <laughs> uh, trying to, to, to per, first to understand, and then to and, and also how to how to say it, how to, to not to regulate it, but how to uh, apply the regulation to these uh, spheres and data to the new new challenges and new uh, situations that uh, come up with this with these new technologies, and probably that's that's the main main challenge.